just waiting for a rain, so hopefully he's going to join me. Tim wishes you all good luck. Thank you, Tim. It's Marmite Gaming. Hi, oh, mate. How's it going? Hope you're resting well, getting loads of energy back. Come and play some games with us. Someone here, MFT guys. Take my gloves off. Oh, these things are on. <sighs> they have a very similar race colours to what you use. He's live now, yeah. Oh, oh, hello everyone. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was busy with our list challenge. It's called cool Delta Shortcut. The list challenge? Uh, yeah, I was, uh, we had our post, post uh, challenge festivities. Challenge races. Afternoon, Mikey. Dive bombs is in the chat as well. Go dive bomb. Mercedes, four Mercedes, BMW, yeah, McLaren, Aston, Porsche. Hazel, afternoon. So I think the qualifying is going to start at five thirty. Yeah, no, I, I just definitely like this idea that where everyone's uh, free to sort of have their car choice. Mix it up a load, wouldn't it? Everyone's in the car, at their own like, little comfort zone. It'd be good. Afternoon, Vitz. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Supporting the uh, Mauritians. He 
hippie. Hello, mate. Yeah, good luck to you guys as well. Good luck to everyone. And have fun. It's going to be a good event. Yeah, it's going to be a good event. It's a very tricky track. Um, going from our one team event that I did. This uh, track on a very fast, long, front straight. It's basically, you know, two straights with a bunch of busy stuff in the middle. Errors will be, I'm sure, a few or far, will be many. <laughs> and, and set of S's is uh, turn one. Set of S's is very complicated. Also, ruin a good lap time. The back, the back middle section. No situations. Take the left and forward with both. Curves, curves here are fairly good. Design with the astroturf on it. Anything that's green is not your friend. So. <laughs> <laughs> Most people have racist this track and know that. Green is bad. There's a couple of corners on it on this trip where the green stuff likes to throw me at the opposition. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's um there's the names for some I don't know the corner names, but when you get into the uh, the middle the middle sector, um, uh, I think it's the final tight hairpin before you take the long it's like a nice long left. It's like the final right, the final right hair bit. Yes. Going into the braking zone, um, I've always found going into that to set yourself up for a nice apex, you tend to drift the car out to the left. Yeah. It always gets my, my outside tires, my left tires. And that's the, uh, it's a dirty part of the track, but I know. Yeah. And there's a couple places like that. And even. Drift out, you drift out wide, you know, to, to set up, set up your turn in, and just clip the, clip the Astro. It's usually the Astro. Just round you go. Advantage or disadvantage on your car choice. I think, uh, I'm going to keep, try and call these uh, guys by her names. Um, this guy's got really confusing. Y four eight one. What can we call him? We could we call him Y. Uh, I mean, we'll call him Y. Yabby, Yabby, Y-A-B-Y, uh, I, Yabby, <laughs> Yabby, uh, Silent Wolf, uh, and our, our fellas, Cordelia, Giovanni, uh, Giovanni. Yeah, Silent Wolf in Rish. the uh, Lancer, Speed Hunter, our very own dive bomb, our Speed our Hunter in the BMW, Mash Sato in the McLaren. Why is in the Mercedes? Oh, the 
half the sound of that Mercedes. Yeah. I mean, it's one thing that uh, Gran Turismo does pretty well. I mean, it's, it's an old game, to be you know, honest. It's, a, it's, a, it's an older game. Uh, does does a lot of things right. It's, uh, it's sound sampling uh, and the looks of the cars. They look, they look right, they sound right. There's games out there that have uh, a lot more dynamic <laughs> sounding cars. Apologies for Nightbot in the chat. Um, <laughs> I don't know why Nightbot did that. If yeah, anyone's dive. free to, if they can just make sure that the Nightbot doesn't stop anyone cheering on any of the drivers. Dive bomb's a trooper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Our uh, we we always. Uh, He's eleven our, hours ahead. It's four. Is it fourteen? I believe. Wait for me. For me, he's fourteen hours. Yeah, I think it's in the four a.m. in the morning for him. Yeah, yeah. He's 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 always a on a Monday morning. Our leagues. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not yet dive bomb. I you always ask dive bombs for lottery numbers, he never gives them to me. Ah, yeah, that's it. Everyone's just having their last little uh, break before the qualifying, chance to get refreshed. Yep. Go and relieve their bladders. That's a good idea. <laughs> You have to stay hydrated, but you also have to make room for that hydration. You do. Pro tips. I mean, I, I always, it always amazes me. In, in, in real life, you know, 24 hour drivers, you know, nine hour guys, they get into these, oh, we're going to double stint him. And I'm like, well, gosh. <laughs> How do you do that? Yeah, Especially it. He's a trooper when they do that. <laughs> Double stop this guy. I'm gonna turn my wheel off here and just take it off. One of the features I love about this wheel is a quick release rim. Oh, excellent. So you can throw it at people in frustration. Oh, God, I don't need that. I'd cry. <laughs> well, the qualifier's begun. Ten minutes. minutes. Cordell and Bertman, quick out track. Gearish, 87. We've got a speed hunter coming out with him. Dive on stage behind them. Smash for the deck. Silent Wolf's out. Giovanni Masca, he's uh. He's left. Um, it's all good. I think he's having been having some ne network issues. Yeah, uh, Maybe he'll c come in and start at the back of the grid. So, yeah, you have to uh, get your tires warmed up. Get yourself in a rhythm. Uh, hope that uh, your practice goes well and you put yourself in a good rhythm. Uh, that's when uh, rubber really needs to grow. All fun stops. Ivan's gonna quit out off the track. Uh, I think it's because that guy disconnected. I think 
I'm just gonna. Yeah. Yeah. One thing we have to realize: we do have a lot of uh, <clears throat> people in different parts of the world, uh, different uh, internet connections, types, strings. So there's That's kind it. of things to happen. We're not that far in the future yet where we can play games without ping issues and. <laughs> Nationalities of all of our players, gentlemen, you got UK, uh, French, South Africa, uh, it's down to uh, Mexico, Speed Honor. I'm so the only American. As soon as everyone's back out on track, we think we're gonna try and get that, get that another guy. I think we've got to wait for one or two to get back in the lobby. One American limit. I think we can safely say that we've pretty much covered every corner of the globe. Yep, we are. Well, your, um, your French flags are your Mauritians. They are all under the French flag, is that correct? Um, I believe the flag is on the spoiler of their cars. The, uh, I think the French might just be because, um, we, you know when they make a uh, European account up? I think they might just pick French because that's their, uh, I think they may be French uh, predominant language there. I could be wrong, completely wrong. Yeah. A little more research problems, necessary. Yes, yeah, sir. I don't really like these, uh... I come like in a top, bit dry today. Top, yeah. Top, top job on these liveries, I'm really. I mean, guys who create these liveries, I know, and uh, had revealed in our GRT liveries. Always, always top, top work. Um, Marisha team, their, uh... Jump on board. Uh, yeah. Blue. Uh, black accents on the bottom. Gonna give the qualifying another to try. Oh, it's a French island, thank you. Tim? I needed some educating there. You saved me. Yes, thank you, Tim. Thank you. Ascor looks like Giovanni's having some issues so they might substitute him. While, while you're here I just want to, um, you guys are welcome to join any GRT races if you like.
I experienced these all on the lower side of tire and fuel multiplier. They will come available, uh, come evident pretty quick. I mean, you will get an idea of how quickly your tires are going to wear. Um, really suspect that we're going to have at least uh, at a minimum of one stop, but uh, possibly two. I believe um, we're going to we're going to be like possible no stops, maybe one stops. A battle between the two. You're back in the UK, Tim. Well, you know, that's the you lost the disc to this game. You can get it. <laughs> so uh, there's there's that small benefit now. If you lost, uh, well, some people would probably want to lose Prime Cars Three. If you lost that, you to buy another one. It might be pretty expensive. <laughs> so, so I think you can get I think you can get Gran Turismo with a whole bunch of stuff for less than twenty US twenty US dollar. Yeah, I think it's fifteen pound over across. Yeah, and you could probably get a used copy for probably less than ten pounds. I would easily think ten pounds, probably less than ten dollars. So if all you need is a disc, you got all your stuff. In there. And that, uh, yeah, that's I know I uh, I had one of the Xbox three sixty one before they were using Blu-ray and discs were really standard compact discs were not very durable. Yeah. I think I ordered uh, like a limited edition version of Halo Gears. I can't remember which one it was. It came in the steel box and the little thing that held the, held the disc in place oh, yeah. did not do a good job and the disc <laughs> rattled around inside the case and it was like, it was like somebody did some type of Hard work on it. <laughs> so, it was so messed up. So, we luckily, have a... they, they knew that was a problem and they replaced it. So, but I had a game I couldn't play after just buying it. You know. Yeah. I think poor Giovanni's uh, network issues are going on. It reminds me of Pulse trying to join the GRT League. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was <laughs> he tried a, for a whole a... night. Giovanni is probably uh, on Mauritius. Uh, probably. Um, I mean, I've, had, I've, I've had a lot of people today have had internet issues. It's like no internet whatsoever. Um, then I saw also the weekend. So, uh, Silent Wolf busy. practicing his launches. That's something I do myself on a find a place on the track and I'll practice to do. <laughs> Always a always a good good tactic. Um, to have an idea what you're going to do when you go into that first turn. Where is your brake marker? Where is it going to change? Team GRT uh, discussing tactics here. Substitute will be arriving in five minutes. I hate autocorrect. I hate it. I'm trying to tell Tim it's good to hear that he's back and it's his food to hear me. <laughs> and, and, and of course, here is spelled uh, as, a, as a, you know, not here in your ears, but here in. I just completely mistyped that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just head up the keyboard. It's, it's, it's food. Tim's supposed to bring food to here. <laughs> I'm waiting for my food. So qualifying will start when the substitute arrives.
gear has got some nice lines. Nice tight. <laughs> It's bedtime. I'm sure uh, Bertie will put some stuff in the dream box for you to uh, reward you for staying awake. Yeah. yeah, we've had a little bit of competition there with the uh, admin tab and Bertie's <laughs> tab. A little bit of a trying, somebody's trying to gain a little attention, trying to get some hits there, huh? Uh, what happens is every, every time that someone leaves and it the discord has to let us know that someone leaves and it depresses me so I heal the depression by posting a picture of a woman in a bikini oh, okay. to freshen up the place again well on, on to happier times on the happier times absolutely that's it little drift competition. We turn this to a drift race so you can get the most points. Now that would be a team versus team event there. I don't think we've ever done. I don't think we've never done a drift a drift competition. Have you got any GR. experience at scoring drift competitions? Uh no, I'm not any good at it. I think I have a grand total of like two hundred thousand drift points. I was just trying to get that badge or that trophy so that I can get closer to platinum. So I don't have any platinum trophies in my PlayStation career. I don't have any platinums because I, I don't have the patience. <laughs> I got too easily distracted. So, but uh, like me and uh, uh, Mashed Potato, we were talking about it on many of our long-winded chats uh, about trying to as much time as we spend in this game in order to get the uh, platinum trophy. Uh, because you have to have a lot, you have to be, I mean, the hardest things to get for your average player are going to be to get to level 50, uh, yeah. which is diamond in the game, uh, and to get the number of wins, I think it's uh, 61 wins to get that. It's a very old and, number, 61. Yeah, yeah, it's the, uh, it's the air says. Uh -huh, okay, yeah. I, I thought it would uh, be associated with a driver's yeah. record. Right, and then there's uh, fastest laps. Fastest laps and clean clean race bonus, which <laughs> I think would probably be near impossible now. But uh, clean Mayday? Race bonus. Good afternoon. Um, so many of the different things you have to do to get that... Uh, we got uh, photo opportunities right now. We got the GRT team with dive bomb. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, and we got the MFT team. They're posing for their photos. I hope someone uh, sends me pictures of all these images. Hopefully, the co co uh, cars aren't ghosted. Ugh. You guys are going to go messing up that pretty painting. Team, team, team boss is not going to be happy when he gets a repair bill. So again, thank you everyone for joining us. It's, uh, watching everyone in the chat, it's good to have you here. <coughs> and, uh... Looks like a little bit more organization. Yeah. Russian team, there seems to be a bigger 
front. That was when the Prit stick got thrown up onto the ceiling. Where is Heppa when you need him? <laughs> Look, we got a parade lap here going on. Excellent. Exhausts. With any luck, the qualifiers should be underway soon. So everyone's itching to go. Team GRT formation. Do we have that skill set? Nope. You're not. You guys did not practice that. His typical Aston Martin. He loves his Aston Martins. Cordell, a car that he's used quite a few times, but he is also on his new wheel, so group threes are posing a little bit of a hiccup. Mash, Mash getting more time in the McLaren. He's using that in FI. Dive bombs has a lot of experience in the clan that are safety spin. Uses that very often in uh, Australian leagues. And F I believe he uses an FIS too. I don't know, he's got a lot of numbers back on this. Uh, I'm sure the rest of uh, the Russian team is probably the same way. Use, use, what you, use what you know the most. I don't know that I can make a choice. I, I, I'd probably be with Bertman, though. I, I have some experience uh, in the um, Jaguar and my FI experience. Uh, uh, threes are not my, not my favorite favorite group to use, class, car class to use. I don't know what I would use if I was in this room. Okay, Tim. Uh, enjoy your day. Hope you enjoy what we uh, you see later when you watch this. Yeah, I find Group 3 is probably the hardest class to master on here. Yeah, uh, in my... I mean, group 1 go fast, they got lots of downforce. Group 2 get lots of downforce, they go quite fast. But you can pretty much uh, like rag them around. Group three is uh, they've got that little allowance, haven't they, for the wheels to spin and not get grip. Right. Just sort of in between, yeah, sort of lacking aerodynamic grip. Yeah, there's uh, there's not to say there's aerodynamic grip. I mean, obviously, if you look at the group two cars, which so aero driven, they have very lightweight, a lot of power, but very aero driven. Uh, and then the group fours, which don't have 
a lot of power, but they have mechanical grip in the tires. Um, and they have a marginal amount of aerodynamic grip. So. Oh, look at this. This is driving I like to see. Yes, burn them tires. Yes. Yeah, that, the grip Side trees wolf. are a... Nice. Very confusing. Very... Uh, you get the... A uh, little bit extra grip with the, well, the bigger tires. Uh, a little bit more aero. Uh, quite a bit more power. Uh, you can overpower the tires and the aero with the, the car itself. almost two minutes ago. My thinking with the car would I choose um, for this track, um, I think the front engine and rear drive cars might have just a small advantage because of some of the transitions uh, over the, the mid, mid to rear engines. Yeah. <clears throat> Saying that, I've seen some people get the uh, mid-engine cars to work everywhere to good effect. Yeah. If you can get them to work, then they've shifted. Yeah, well, it's a thing when they say that you know the, the best, the best race cars. Are Most people you know, in their real lives drive, you know, probably front engine cars for the most part. But uh, if you have experience driving, you know, a car that has a sporty, a sporty nature, it's probably going to be something that's rear engine front, you know, front front engine rear drive, you know, like a yeah. So, but their handling, your handling characteristics are going to be more familiar. The mid-engine cars, uh, they do handle very well, but certain like, irregularities to track, they don't uh, handle very well. The, tra the quick transitions, I think, uh, don't handle that great. Uh, the curbs, certain tracks in Gran Turismo, the curbs are, are very not friendly to uh, mid-engine cars. Waiting for effort here, effort deal. Sorry about my pronunciation. He's just getting a couple of laps in. He's replacing Giovanni. to have guys waiting to, to jump in and uh, in place for certain connections or equipment issues. You have a wheel that takes a, takes a dump on you and you can't use it. So if I wasn't streaming, I'd be an emergency substitute. <laughs> I kept thinking about staying, I was like, oh, I really want to drive. Family life. 
Yeah, I think um, I, uh, I did, they, did they create you a livery? You have a livery, correct? You have a livery waiting. Uh, nope. Yes, I, don't, I wouldn't be able to. I could fill it, but uh, since I'm already in the lobby, I don't have a livery. So. I would have pretended to be someone else. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's true. They are shared. You'd have to. You'd have to, you'd have to be able to jump into somebody else's skin. Yeah. You'd jump in and jump in and be a, a dive bomb skin. You know? Yes, sir. How many showers would you need to take for that afterwards? <laughs> Smell of the smell of vegetable and kangaroo. Ladies might love that. For, I'm waiting for the reaction in the channel. On the <laughs> what happens when you poke a bear? Uh, uh, is this when it takes a dump in the woods? Yeah. It takes the rabbit and wipes the butt. I think they're just having uh, five minutes. Um, I mean, I'm quite honestly, this is not a surprise at all. It should easily have been expected. It's just the, the, the difference in geography is, is the surprising part. You know, you know when. Uh, I think this is. Oh, I said there will be five minutes. I think we just got to quickly do something. Grab a smoke. Maybe. Maybe he's got to walk his dog. The Aston, the McLaren, and the Mercedes. Be grateful for every day. Yeah. I know uh, Mauritius had a pretty bad go of it with the uh, oil slick uh, tanker disaster and went off on the coast. Yeah, terrible. Hopefully everything uh, turns around for them. I know, uh, it's something, it's something that quite honestly hasn't be surprised how much it happens uh, which you don't know about uh, but then you know we had the exile in Valdez a disaster up in uh, Alaska a while a long time ago but yeah, honestly you know we haven't had a had one in a long time but to, uh, it's time to qualify Dr. Boisini good evening Hippie was first out, Burton second, and Cordell third. Now, there is a trick. There is a trick to this qualifying. So, and I learned that in the team event that I was in. There 
there is a there is a trick to team versus team qualifying, and if either team practiced it, you will know it right away. So, so you work together. Yeah, there's a lot of them that definitely work together, and keep 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 the train going uh, as well as you can. Looks like Marisha is, is doing that right now and getting all lined up. Right, so, let's start flying laps. Dive bombs was. He did not prepare for our team versus team event, but he did feel that Cordell was definitely one of our members, and also Mashed Potato, one of the members that did our last team versus. with that wall. Yeah. Uh, that is a tricky, tricky turn, isn't it? Uh, turn three, two and three. Get your, get your turn in, turn in and breaking points wrong. Yeah, it's, you got to shake it off, shake it off, that lap's done, shake it off. Get, get the start finish line as fast as possible. Start all over. So, Times are going to start coming in. Hip here, one thirty one. Oh, Speed Hunter's gone quicker so far. One. It's under half a second between the top six. <laughs> I think 
Cordell, could be wrong, but Cordell burned into some fuel. Speed Hunter coming again, he's coming towards another, another map set. So, uh, so Speed Hunter, he might have a chance to do two flight laps. Maybe. Yes. Mesh about to start his flying lap. Afternoon Joker. Speed Hunter with Mash, Dive Bomb, Silent Wolf, Garish, Burger, Cornell, Nefad, Y4, Vesla, coming across the line here. Mm -hmm. so right now I'm watching a course map on the telemetry. So guys go into the middle twisty section right now. We've still got mash potato off by three tenths. Current pole, current top time. Maybe down by another tenth from there, and then another tenth from there, dive bombs. So yeah, we've Got you know, second and a half to all these guys. So we've got guys probably burning fuel and getting ready to go on the old crackers and lap. Mashes up from his previous time. He's gonna need a little something extra in this final sector. hundreds of a second between the two of them now. Looks like it's going to be an exciting battle, doesn't it? Between them two tonight. Yeah. Yeah, GRT's got four of the top five spots right now on the side. Mind you, I'll tell you. There's a, if there's a place that I don't like to be in this track in turn one, then that's up the front. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I Jason, mean, hello. This, look at this, this race. I mean, qualifying is, is always, you know, it's, it's nice to get the fastest lap over how fast you are. It's, it's a team event, and it, it can all go you know, tragically wrong in the first turn. Speed first is going quicker again. He is purple through sector. Oh, he's on the edge. Ah, oh, he's just he's just got a bit too wide. He is using the slip of his uh, teammate. Good effort, though. He had that BMW on the limit there. Yeah, we'll see. We got Mash. Mash coming through. I think Mash is doing the same. He's using a bit Cordell slip. Mash goes fastest. Two tenths. Wow. Two tenths. Wow. It just used Cordell for a little bit of slip there at the end. Yeah, that's a good team. Good team. That's a... It's still going to be an amazing race because Speed Hunter was up yeah. In, yeah. as well and he just got it a little bit wide. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see when these two are racing in each other's slipstream what happens. Mash, Mash is getting getting a handle on this, this player. Uh, it's a good, good, solid car. Speed Hunter and that BMW. In order to uh, make that BMW work, it's, uh, it's not typically used by most people. It's not the uh, it's a good, it's a good, solid car. Very, very uh, fast, but it's not probably the best handling car. Count. 
and start finish that. But he's lost all that momentum. He's lost all that momentum going down from the street. He had that little slide, didn't he? Yeah. So we have Mash that, Speed Hunt the second. So I'll read the rest of them up when I come Yeah, uh, yeah well, I'll do a race. I'll do a race. That's, that's, uh, yeah, that's, a, that's a nicely uh, scattered group. That's just a group. Yeah. Uh, quite the parody here, I think. Yeah. Good luck, everyone. Enjoy yourself. Everyone's away. I actually did not get that great a start. Motion to your team here to the front. Dive bombs, mash, Cornell taking the top three. It's a good up. Speed Hunter gets in there to take third. all over his rear at the minute. Silent Wolf chasing Cordell. Exactly the longest of races in the world. Uh, an hour long race. Uh, some guys are trying to fight for position, trying to sort themselves out. So third, uh, Oh, contact there. We, we hope that Speed Hunter's going to wait. We hope he's going to wait. No. It was a brave move with a lot of contact there. Uh, So Hippie and Silent Wolf are now getting bumped into this group. Yeah. So dive bombs, uh, the bedtime boys, doing good in the lead. Yeah, 
it's hard for us to it's hard for us to determine whether or not you've got uh, any kind of I mean, obviously there's team I, I was never any of the team the team was going to be a team uh, you, know, you also have the, the question of over aggression to try to get past As I'm on board with Speed Hunter here, and it's, got, it's obviously got pace. Yeah, so, so. it's just one of the things, isn't it? You, we race together a few times a week. You, when you're racing against people that you've never raced with before, you don't have that understanding, do you? It's uh, it's a little early laps of the race, it's not, not too bad. Mash has dusted himself, put himself up into sixth place. I'm sure they, that will uh, give him some motivation. It's, they're already grouping back, back up to the uh, lead pack, so this will be a develop, like, good development. Be interested. Uh, I mean, yeah. yeah, I mean, you're seeing, uh, you know, all the time we've got dive bombs. Dive bombs, these guys are battling for second to fifth. Second to fifth is like right here and you've got a mix you've got Silent Wolf Speed Hunter and they're going against Hippie and Cornell Mashed Potatoes is probably right there Mashed Potatoes right there so you've got three on two with actually it's four on two dive bombs on the so let's just uh, have, a, have a quick look at the uh, other thing I'm just looking at tyres dive bombs tyres looking amazing at the minute uh, Silent Wolf behind, his tyres looking like they might start struggling soon. He might be on target for a one-stopper in this race. Hippie's looking after his tyres. Yeah, yeah Silent, Silent Wolf's tyres, they're not looking really good. Speed Hunter's tyres are looking amazing. Mashes back into this battle now, excellent. Mash's tires, Bertman's tires, a lot of there's a lot of action going on. It's hard to keep track of it all, especially respect to me. Uh, well, I think we're trying to around uh, our own cameras here. <laughs> so, back in ten, you, know, you got tenth is right there. Tenth place is. is we're only at the lap five. I mean, it's still early. This is not a very long lap, so. Uh, still dive bombs in the first, hit me in the second. Speed Hunter. Yeah, it's, a, it's a gaggle right now. It's too close to call, really, on anything past you know, it's third place. No, <laughs> it's constantly changing. There's so much. Nothing's a given in motorsport, anything can happen. I've seen stuff happen that I couldn't have imagined that was going to happen. I went into turn, the little final turn of Bathurst once in sixth place and left it in the lead. And won a race there. <laughs> I think there's. Uh there is a lot. There's a it's definite amount of parity here, and I think uh, you have yeah. to. Uh, <laughs> some some guys are. This is this is where rate real racing. There's uh, we race each other a lot. We start racing team dynamic. It's, it's going to start to boil down to versus one one v one racing. Uh, Dive, dive bombs has lead right now. He's a seven, almost an eight second lead right now over Hippie. I wouldn't say that Hippie has a job. But Hippie's job right now is to try to make sure he slows speed on now. Has the pace. So, uh, They're driving side by side. And they are. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's no pain between them. Right now. She's got an agile team. He's come back from a serious ball from the set of S's. So he has, he has fought his way back and he's proven, proven his pace. He's got the pace and at a certain point Hippie, Hippie's going to have to realize
realize he's got to let Mash by. Because Mash is he's the fastest driver for this team. If anything, to put himself. Will we see any pit stops? That's the. Uh... Yeah, we're, 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 we're about halfway, and a lot of these oh, guys. Someone's gone in. Cordell and Burtman have gone in. I think that was a wise move. The tyres starting to fade out. <laughs> They're not going to be uh, very competitive. Can't get any closer to leaving the pits in there. Yeah, you got Cordell <laughs> inside of Burtman. Burtman inside of Cordell. And somebody's carrying a penalty. Cordell's carrying a half second penalty. Bombs, his tires. Yeah, he's, he's probably thinking it's time to pit. He's got to be thinking time to pit. He's, he can't. He's gonna lose time. He's got to. He's, well, he's, he's already lost time. He had almost eight seconds. He's got about a six and a half second lead right now. Yeah, I know. Dive bomb likes to tires. drive on some burnt tires, so. <laughs> His tires are way off than Speedhunter's tires. Are yeah, Speedhunter's are looking good, and he's just gone purple. Mash, Mash Potato, his tires are understandably back, back. His right sides are totally ragged. Hippie's tires. Cyclops is in. Mash and Hippie are coming in. So Speed Hunter takes the lead, Silent Wolf is second. Why the So the order has been reversed now. We have Speed Hunter first, Silent Wolf second. Yeah, yeah, Dive Bombs is out. Dive Bombs is out in second place. He's just ahead of that chasing pack. And speed hunt three and a half seconds ahead. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Dive bombs on fresh tyres. Dive bombs on fresh tyres. Everybody behind him is on terrible tyres. Especially, I mean, Silent Wolf's tyres are so bad. <laughs> speed hunter, hunter must be aim aiming for the end. Going this yeah. far, I'd imagine. It's going to be second lead. Dive bombs should be on him. We'll take the lead for any other reason than he's got better tires. So, uh, I, would, I would suspect we would see three through five coming Mash is out of the pits. No. Yeah, Mash and Hippie are closing in. Oh, well, they're just it's like coming together all there. The, all of all the GRE has made it in, the, in, out, in and out of the pits. Move. Oh, there's two of them sideways. Girish is the uh, one that suffers from that. He's back. We had a uh, coming together of motion. Let's go back to the lead. We've got speed hunter still two and a half seconds. If he just came to place. Slow. He's actually not slow. He's quickly chipping away that lead that speed on our hand. He took a second out in a lap. Jump on board with dive bombs as he chases down the leader right now. Let's look at the leader. His tires, uh, he's, he's definitely going to suffer on every left turn. His, his right side tires are really not good. I would suspect he's going to come in for a pit stop. You never know. He might be pressing the. New member, uh, Jason. Welcome to the members. Uh, 
I'll tell you one thing with this BMW that our leader uh, Speed Hunter's in. It is a very torquey motor. It's not like uh, it's not like early th throttle input, so uh, that's going to hurt him big time. But then why? Still, still losing time. He's lost over half a second. At this point, I think uh, Speed Hunter will probably have to stay out. He hasn't come in already, but he had a fairly big lead. He should have come in. So yeah, I think he's committed to, the, to doing this a no stopper. I think Dive, uh, dive Bombs needs to be patient. He's, he's, got, like, he's got all the advantages. He's got all the advantages. So don't do anything to dramatic. Just let, let the leader come back to you just over your normal pace. Cordell and Y side by side. Cordell's going to try and take the outside line around there. Mercedes versus Mercedes. Uh, I don't think that's going to be necessary contact. Excellent work trying to get them cars through there side by side. It's never ideal when the uh, cars ghost though. It seems to be the strategy for the Mauritian team is no stop. They've gone with a no stop strategy because I don't think only one of them have come in. Silent Wolf is. I did do a few tests before or is it for a similar race and the one and no stop are very close together obviously the time that you save not pitting you lose when the tyres are burnt out and it always works out as a last lap showdown between the two it did in the test races so we're uh, coming to the end of the white flag lap again speed hunter just under a half second lead to dive bombs. You got everybody in the behind dive bombs. Going defensive, speed hunter going defensive. This is really his only recourse. The double move, the double move. Going back outside. Let's see if we can get to another big, big passing opportunity. That movie has pretty much killed dive bombs. His tires are spent to be tires are so spent. Really. Can he survive? Can he survive? I mean, it's gonna have to it's gonna take a bold move. He's not it's gonna play a very smart, incredibly defensive uh, position. Dive bombs has a sniff. Dive bombs is lining it up. Mash comes into sight in the background. Dive bombs is making his move. He pins it down the inside. I don't think BMW's got the grip to make it back. Has all the all the all the grip going out on the acceleration areas. As they approach the finish line, dive bombs wins from speed hunt the second, mashed potato third, hippie heat fourth, Cordell and Bertman bringing it home fifth and sixth. Y481 and Girish coming in. Silent Wolf in a bit squishy. His front tyres are all. His front 
right tire is. You got your money's worth like out of them. It's like a shotgun <laughs> shell. Yeah. Uh, it's got a shotgun shell on the front and a lipstick on the back. Bring it home in ten. Last minute replacement yeah, driver. <coughs> very brave move uh, uh, strategy. Very brave strategy for the mission. Oh, that was an amazing battle for the first place. I really enjoyed watching that. Diveborn gets a clean race bonus. <laughs> yeah, uh, them dive bombs, uh, great great race, great race all around. Um, way to control the race from the front. Um, yeah, there's a lot to be said. You know, once you, when you start, if you can get out in front and pull away, uh, second, third, fourth, fifth, when they're that close, they're gonna they're gonna fight, and if you can get away from the fight, which dive bombs did, uh, it, it should be a should be a fairly cut and dry race. Um, uh, throw the curveball with all the Mauritians going with the no stop. Um, it was a gamble. Nice it nearly worked. It's a gamble. Yeah. It's a gamble. It worked for the most part. I mean, it did. I mean, they have they got second place. Uh, all their other drivers uh, suffered. I think uh, that. I think it's Catalonia next. But yeah, it was really good driving for everyone. Speed Hunter just uh, congratulating dive bombs. Oh, Jason, you legend. Jason donating 10 Canadian dollars. Thank you, mate. Hope you're enjoying this racing. Thank you, Jason. You are a leg end. There's Joker. Hello, Joker. I have not been paying attention to the stream, the stream chat. So this grid, I believe, is a reverse grid from the last race. So I think they just have a couple of minutes just to stretch their legs and yeah. get refreshed. Yeah. Do that myself. Be right back. Legend. They donated 200 Norwegian kroner, is that? No, I think that's wrong. But anyway, but that's for dive bombs. True, the true legend. Cordell has left the room. I'm, uh, I'm wondering if he's going to switch to the pad. Yeah, Hippie had an amazing race. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, we had a we had a well uh, put together race by a GRT. Uh, I think I just. Uh, very good race by both teams, honestly. Oh no, we've made it. We've made a sub. Cordell has uh, made way for Mikey. <coughs> okay. I've had some epics around this track with Mikey before. 
Yes. Yeah, yeah. We we had a we had a proper race um, in amateur league. Um, uh, uh, like I said, we just did uh, <laughs> the bad hour yesterday with this track. Afternoon, Matt. And this is a track that is a <laughs> definite Group Three track. This car is be able to show the power and the handling and speed of this track. This track eats your front left tyre, doesn't it? Yeah. If you don't mind driving with a burnt out front left tyre, you're fine. Yeah, this is Hippie's one of the, uh, one of the guys, I say he's underrated, I, I rate him highly, he's always been a speedy guy, he's always up in the top group, in any race. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, like I say, um, Hippie is one that guys tend to sleep on, and I, and I don't mean that, I don't mean that in a derogatory way, because uh, he... Uh, he has a natural ability to just jump in to races and be fast. So you know, guys will go out, they'll practice, and they'll get their strategies, and uh, they have it going in. And, and Hippie sits in the pits and waits till the last minute, you know, and he comes out and he just uh, embarrasses a lot of them. And, uh, yes, yeah, you just imagine him sitting in the pits, chewing gum, drinking coffee. Yeah. Maybe not at the same time, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I'll... Um, oh, what are you getting, Enra? What food you got? I have got a massive bag of munch in front of me. But I just had to roast gammon literally before I come on. Yes, he uses the Geordie magic. <laughs> Tim's back. Yeah, I love this track. So many nice overtaking places. Speed Hunter also. Spending lots of time in the pits now. Maybe Sigmund is not going to intend to come back here until the race is over. It's a sprint race. You have to. You still have to manage your tires. I don't know that you will probably be an issue. Let's see if the if our race settings change. Last time we just changed the numbers. Yes. Five uh, times. Ten laps. It's a longer, longer track. Strategies last one. I think it's going to be the one stop versus the no stops. 
I think we went from a fuel consumption, higher fuel consumption by one point five. So, um, so yeah, fuel was not a problem with the last one. I don't think anybody took on me fuel here. It's probably going to be a splash. So. Mash nearly went into the one point fours already. Uh, had a good lap of 145.5 Watch MASH go through the, uh, the final sector here This is uh, The first race was track. a great one Tim Really good Sorry mate There's a thing with that that final chicane. You can um, you can skirt that that last little bump, but if you get it wrong, it will kick you right off into the north your land of the ground. <laughs> See, some cars a... can go over that little sausage curb, can't they? Some cars can do it quite nicely. Uh, I know the McLaren likes to jump over them. <laughs> I see. I see. All these cars are all you know, front, front rears. Uh, Mash is the only one in a mid rear. Um, he might have the hardest time with that chicane um, because just the way that the weight is dis distributed, uh, and it does not handle that very well, um, in my experience. But he's a very accomplished driver. Able to, to get this McLaren to do things that I can never do. Yeah, Joe God. It was a very, very tight battle. Definitely worth a watch back because uh, Speed Hunter managed to take the lead. He went for a no stopper. Dive Bomb uh, had to wait until about the second or third corner from the end to make his move. And luckily, he made it stick. We had the fresher tyres, but definitely, definitely going to see I think Dive Bomb, Speed Hunter, Mashed Potato all having a bat uh, battle up front. Definitely. Yeah, I think we're. We're, we're in for a very interesting turn one. Uh, again, this is another track where turn one at the start uh, is going to be it's going to be a madhouse uh, through the first chicane. Uh, chicane, um, <laughs> and then after that, if, if everybody can keep themselves sorted and clean. After that, it's going to be, uh, it's just going to be such a good race to watch. It's going to be, uh, there are, there are places to pass, there are places to overtake, um, so, uh, but it can become a lonely race too. We're only 10 laps. It's, uh, it's going to be, it's going to be over before you know it, so enjoy Yeah, it'd be interesting to see if fuel's a factor in this race. I don't know if it will be. So Mikey well, coming out with the Aston. Yeah. yeah. Impressive laptop. Four and a half laps. Eat. It's uh, 
it's hard. <clears throat> yeah. I... Uh, I know what people... He might have been it. drifting again. I saw what he was doing earlier. <laughs> well, I'll impressive. tell you what, that, uh... I do not think that the... Like, I, I don't know what his experience is with this car, but my experiences with this car are almost none. The Mitsubishi is... It almost seems like a niche car because it only seems to work when they have that, you know, race at Blue Moon Bay. Uh, other than that, this, this car is almost never used for anything. Not a lot of people make it. But if he has, if he has, you know, some kind of magic that he can put on it to make it work for him, you know, uh, more power to do. It would be the last car I would ever choose. Uh, in a way. I mean, I, I, but it was some. Um, oh, Cordell. Giovanni. That was legend. I believe it was it. Was it uh, you did great, mate. Nice. Cordell, thank you for the donation. You are awesome. And what, uh, mate, you did a great drive. Yes, Cordell. I now you get to enjoy it like us. Yeah. So, so the reverse grid. Again. Reverse grid. This can turn things upside down. Good luck everyone. Worst enemy. Yeah. Make sure you give your teammate as much room as possible. Son of Wolf having a look down the inside of Mikey. Yeah. I think it's going to work. Nice I think Dive Bombs is going to follow him through. Yeah, they need some big CFO up there ahead. All of the GRT team. For more. Got, <laughs> got a lot of guys. That... Mercedes is a strong car. This track. Yeah. Welcome yeah, back. There's in. a lot of a lot of speed here. A lot of speed here for your power cars, the power track. Uh, so, uh, I think where that you know, certain cars relax can with it. handle the turns a little better when you're going to just lose out <laughs> when it comes to putting the power down. There's a little lag spike up here by Gearish. On board with Mikey. Trying to get that power down coming out of that chicane. Like you're making room for dive bombs to go through. Oh, speed hunt. Like he's probably going to give room, give room to mashed potato too to get through. And here's where you really got to be early on the brakes. When you're behind a teammate, you really got to be early on the brakes. Try to let dive and mash. They can, they can chase to the front. Yeah, we're already seeing Silent Wolf's tires are already starting to show their disapproval to this track. They're already showing quite a bit more red than anybody else's. Uh, I think I'm going to become a Silent Wolf fan. I love people to destroy tires. <laughs> He's got, uh, I'm telling you, I gave him a lot of credit for picking a car that is so outside the norm. Oh, there's a collision. They two took each other out. 
Oh, that was an unfortunate thing. I think it was two blues. Dive bomb gets it on the gravel. They say blue on blue. It's not a good thing. Now, dive, dive bombs had a little bit of a moment there. Speed hunter as well. He's uh, gained a few places. He's also gained himself a penalty. Silent Wolf realizes he's got a teammate on the inside. Oh, Burtman always the opportunist. Is he going to look down the inside? Oh, Burtman! Oh, yeah. I think he just drags him out wide. Yeah, Burtman was a bit of a bold move. See, he didn't work, but he, he's pulled back off. Yeah, he dropped back off. I mean, you get, you get into the draft there, and, and, and there is a point of no return where you have to either try to stick a turn, to stick a pass, or you've just got to slam on the anchors. And, and sometimes that's not the wisest thing to do when you've got probably somebody behind you. So not all dive bombs are intentional. Sometimes it's a necessary uh, way to avoid hard contact. Gary's doing a wonderful job out in the lead. Mash just has a little bit of a twitch there. Trying to squeeze everything he can out of that McLaren as he goes purple once more. He's already the fastest man on the track. Now some dive, dive bombs needs to try to do. Dive bombs and Mikey, they need to try to work together to the safe. The only trade off of working the draft is sometimes it burns your tires out a little faster. Seeing Silent Wolf, his tires are not agreeing to this at all. Let's see if he's going to get a good run on him. And Aston Martin with the far superior speed. Only on the inside. Slamming on the anchor, slamming him down. It's clear. Uh, you've got Gears Christian team, followed uh, by the GRT Mash, Mikey Dive Bombs, Pippi, Speed Hunter. I'm gonna start with trying to, get to around put pressure the on to Hippy. Look at Speed Hunter's tire wear. Uh, I've got to say, he looks like he's going to go for a no-stopper again. He is definitely smooth on them tires. Yeah, you, you'd wonder where his, where his brake bias has got to be limited to the back. Uh, whatever he's doing, to, it's... Uh, whatever he's doing, I, I, I need some of that. Yeah, he's doing a great job. To be fast and to be smooth while you're doing it, that is uh, an art. Mash has got himself right on the back of Gearish now. Yeah, on board with Speed Hunter here, he's, he's really looking at the back of Hippie. Um, not really any areas really you can pass here. Try to throw a throw a move on going into the final sh the, the final chicane towards the so last turn here. Hippie's right on the back of Dive Bomb now. Speed Hunter's on the back of them. Silent Wolf is still. Pulling along behind. It's, uh, Bertman's, Bertman's tires aren't looking really good. It's pushing it probably a little bit harder. And you're really starting to see a lot of tire wear, except for Speed Hunter. Yes, his tires do look really good. Mikey's tires are looking really good too. Speed Hunter sliding it down the inside of Hippie. And Gearish at the front, his tires are looking really good. He's again, yeah. he's he, he's not having to over brake. You know, he's giving up the draft to match potato behind him, but you know, he's not having to to overdrive, brake hard to avoid hitting. You know, he's, he's, no, he doesn't have to push. He's got the advantage right now. Um, Mash is going to try to catch up, so he's going to have to give it just a little bit more gas, a little, a little later on the brakes. And 
eventually um, the pace, the difference in pace, I think, between the two. Oh, Girish just runs a little bit wide. Oh, Girish just runs a little bit wide. It's going to be interesting to see. This is probably the lap. If anyone's going to get some tyres, this will probably be where it'll be a sensible yeah. idea to do so. Yeah, right about halfway. If, yeah, I, would, I would suspect if anybody doesn't go in, it's going to be Gearish. Gearish should stay in. Oh, no, Mash is going in. Mash is in. Mash is in. Mikey stays out. Stays out. Speed Hunter stays out. Hippie's going to stay out. Yeah. Dive Bomb's going to stay out. I remember the GRT League, and I think Hippie almost no stop this race. He did an yes. amazing move to gain about two or three places in one corner. Yes, definitely. Now. Yeah. yeah silent, silent Wolf's tires are So Silent Wolf's been called into the pits by his team. Y4, Y4, so he's you know, looking really good in his tires. He's got to burn off the penalty. If it's an ELT, 10th place, I would carry a penalty. I should be coming in their pits and get some tires. I'd like to ask somebody to just jump in and be competitive. Gear shoes still, guys, tires still so good. Dive bombs, one gear in. I think, I think Gear should could probably pull this out. His tires look really good. He may be able to pull out. A Hail Mary. He's got a four second lead to, to a teammate. Yes, yeah, so he's in a wonderful place to uh, to try and pull off a slow stop if he's doing it. That's where you want to be up front if you're going to try and do it. Yeah, the difference starts to come is in the times. Is there enough time for mashed potato? Mash just running a little bit wide there. Back. Trying to Mash squeeze everything out of that car. I'm starting to see Gears just lap times going to the 46s. Same with Speed Hunter, he just last lap was a 46 as far as if, how accurate my lap times are. But it's a yeah, that's about right. He was trickling to the 47s, got to the 45s, now he's into the 46s, it looks like. And he's chasing down a teammate, which means he doesn't really need to push. You know, he needs to try to be faster to catch him, to, to protect him. Be a little wide in the, the elbow here. Mash is, Mash is right there, though. He's got to burn this penalty off. No reason why he shouldn't be able to get past Speed Hunter. He's got three, three laps. Gonna give me three laps here in that one. This is set in, I believe. Yeah, so two teammates ahead. No real reason to lose anything with Hippie and Mikey. Uh, 
go speed hunter. You got some fans as well. Garish, Garish is really uh, very impressive turnaround for him to, to get to get the lead, not ever have it you know, challenged. <laughs> Three second was four second lead to a teammate. If his teammate surrenders the lead to Nash, Nash is going to make up. 4.3 seconds right now. Don't do anything too brash, Nash. <laughs> Don't brash, Nash. That's funny. I'm a poet and I don't know it. Getting mashes on the fresh tires. Again, with that, uh, Both of them have uh, caught up a little bit on gearish. Yeah, well, you know, um, yeah, that's where Speed Hunter has to be the good teammate and hold Mash up, but not hold it, but not hold him up so much. Uh, I would say ugh. he has to hold Mash up, but he still has to keep pace. It's not too easy for Mash to get around. Yeah, so he's making uh, a difficult thing that he just yeah. put up the, the race and keep bringing it back. So he's gonna make that giant BMW about as big as the BMW can get. But again, they're closing the gap ever so slightly to Girish out front. Yeah, so Nash has the advantages. He has better tires. They are starting to show a little wear. It's got this lap, one more left. It's got a lap and a half left to make something happen. He's going to have to get bold at some point. Because the Speed Hunter has shown he is not going to just give anything up. And, and, and would expect him to his teammates in the lead. Nash might be a little too close for comfort here coming into this turn. But can he... Nice inside in, inside out move. Small and mash. Can mash make up two and a half seconds? But not leave himself. <laughs> gotta tie. You gotta tie these turns together in a flowing way with a lot of speed. But a lot of times that leaves a lot of openings for the guy behind you. I don't think speed hovers tires. He's making a solid move. And he's already. I'm in the middle of sign in a minute. Sorry about blue screen. So we got Mash. Mash is 1.6 seconds behind. He's coming into the final lap. He's trying to tie all these turns together. Gear is just putting out a valiant effort here. Trying to go wire to wire. Mash, yeah, Mash is a little tail happy He's there. pushing, trying to get everything out of that McLaren. He's really pushing. He's, he's, he's got an issue with fuel. His fuel is not looking good. Girish is struggling with his tyres. Speed Hunter's still in play. Yeah, Speed Hunter's right there. Going to take a bold move by Mash to be able to... Gets it sideways. <laughs> I mean, if if Gearish pulls this off, he's gonna have to give all the credit to Speed Hunter for holding Nash up. Because why well, it's a team event, I mean. It's a team event, and that's absolutely what, what this is really about. Oh, Nash is having a look. It's getting a little bit messy. They're gonna have a track race to the finish line. Gearish takes it. Uh, Mash I showed Mash the win. I showed Mash for the win, but then I saw a <laughs> lag spike. Hippie fall. Uh, Excellent race, though. Good driving by you two. Gearish, well done. Wow, I really, really. Solid really, drive. Incredible racing. Incredible racing. Really. That, that, 
Gears' win has everything to do with what Speed Hunter did to hold Nash up because if he would have given, if he, let's say he would have given anything up, but if, if Nash could have got past him a couple of turns early, uh, I think Nash takes that win. But, uh, well, well, well done by Gears. That was a, a phenomenal, uh, you know, effort to keep on, keep hold of that win. Um, of Gears, followed by Mash, Speed Hunter, Hippie, Mikey, Dive Bombs, Silent Wolf, Bertman, Y4, and uh, the fill in. Well, I guess Gears didn't take away. He, he took the lead and then never gave it up, but he started in third, apparently. Yeah. So. He did, he had lightning start. Yeah. yeah, that's that start went off so fast I really didn't grab I didn't really grab <laughs> grab hold of who was that <laughs> I believe it was uh Silent Wolf was in the lead. Or I forget. Oh hope he got the fastest lap in the end. Good job, mate. One forty four point eight. Nice. Good fourth place as well. Oh, so, and we got Monza next. It's been amazing, like exciting, everything so far. Yeah, this has been a bit. This has been a bit lunatic. Temple of Speed, indeed. <laughs> is it Monza without the chicane? I believe it is Monza without the chicane. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Dive Bomb still wants to go to bed. dive bombs you just gotta do one more <laughs> grab a quick coffee you can do this Yeah, obviously when you take the first chicane out, you just push the, the battle for it back to the next chicane, but mm -hmm. you get a yeah. little bit more sight at it, don't you? We all know that it's there. There's no need to hit it flat out every time, especially when mm -hmm. there's other cars there. Yeah. Like, do you I know what I actually find? Does. I don't know about you. I find that if I'm more relaxed through that chicane and I'm not trying to get through it fast. I'm actually faster through it if it makes sense. Yeah, I think um, yeah, I think the I think when you go through uh, Curva Grande at full song it is it, the punishment if you get it wrong is so bad because <laughs> Yeah, you're off. You're off, and it, you're, it's forever to get back. And it changes your brake marker for the sh the first chicane, and that you've got to you've got to set your brake marker sooner. But with the chicane, it is it is, it is murder. The chicane, the first chicane is murder. If, if 
uh, yeah, you, you go into it and it just concertina is everything. Everything just just bottlenecks. Um, Thank you, Cordell. Uh, the, it, it, it's such a, a different take on how to uh, handle Curve and Grande. So we're seeing an increase on both the fuel consumption and the tire wear. Uh, again, this is going to be another power track. Got Lesmo, Lesmo 1 and 2. Uh, the chicane Lesmo 1 and 2. Ascari. Uh, so we're going to see some, some seriously fast speeds. the occasion, doesn't it? The, there's a long run down to the first corner, really. And when you're in the first corner, you can some can take it flat. I know I always have to lift just a little bit. I don't feel comfortable taking it pinned. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of time to sort of change positions and sort of get into your packs. Definitely, definitely end up being a, a team strong. You need to be in a little pack, don't you? Keep the slipstream. Yeah, I think the... Uh, I mean, like a lot of the uh, tracks here, the draft... This one's so much more. I mean, there's like... You got, Closing speeds are going to be insane when we get to So, uh, readjusting, recalibrating your brain to where you need to break. Uh, I was just thinking to myself, Bertman's fast, dude. He set the uh, fastest time so far. That's right, hey, look at these, uh, these cars. I feel for Silent Wolf in that, in that this issue, a car that doesn't have any advantages. <laughs> well, he's, but he's, he's putting out, uh, when, uh, he's, as far as time goes, he's quite it. However, if you want a car to punch a slipstream through the air, that's your car. Yeah, Rick, Rick is... I think it, you know, say that's that's you know, you know in my ignorance about the distribution, I never really use it. I have now use it at uh, Blue Moon Bay and 
what I like about it is you can throw it around. It's uh, very user friendly. If you, you know, if you, if you're confident driving, the car will do what you want it to do. In most yeah, circumstances, it's, it's, it just it's lacks like a bit of power top end, I think. I mean, you look at these cars. The, the McLaren so it's to charge eight cylinder. Yeah. Martin's in a supercharged eight cylinder. Mikey's in a V12. Tippy's in a V12. There's, yeah, he's in a turbocharged four cylinder in the, in the Evo. <laughs> so, I mean, am I wrong? Is it, or is it a six cylinder? I'm just pretty sure it's a big four cylinder. Yeah, I think that their cars are full cylinder. BMW, turbocharged 8 cylinder, Mercedes, big 8 cylinder. Oh. Mitsubishi yeah. do wonders though at uh, making their full cylinder engines go fast. Well, yeah, I mean, you look at this as a yeah, Group 3 slash GT3 category. Mitsubishi kind of doesn't really exist. You know, it's kind of like oddities in the it's between the WRX and the Mitsubishi. Really, well, I guess they're Group 3 cars, but they're not really GT3 cars. It is a. It has its advantages, but I don't think they are advantages to this track. But he'll be starting at the front. So we're going to have the Silent Wolf in that car probably doing what bricks do. They create big holes, and it's probably going to be a big hole of passing where you can't really get past it. EFA, EFA, this was going to be a whole lot of followed probably by Cyberpunk. It's going to be in there, and then a string of GRT, followed by Pack of the Pack. This was going to be Nash. I think you're gonna see Speed Hunter is gonna be he's a force to be reckoned. Obviously it's, it's, there's three players in this game right now. It's Speed Hunter, you know, Bash, and Dive Bombs. Well you can't take Gibber out of this. Well <laughs> no, you can't. He was unfortunate in uh Intel Arcos, I think he was Involved in the uh, collision into turn one, which may have cost him a position. So, but all of our, all your top players in the back, at least a bunch of them. So, yeah, Bash, and Speed Hunter, eight. So, good luck, everybody. Let's enjoy this. That's it. Let's enjoy the start. Good luck. Have fun.
think there are some serious issues going on in the back of the pack. We've got Mikey at the back. Hippie. Mikey's... 12 well, laps is back. quite a long time. Yeah, it's a big lap. It's a dive bombs leads. Why? Sun. A mashed potato picking his position so he just gets nudged out wide. And, and like, contrary to everything that I said, we still have silent booth in third place. Two seconds behind. Speed Hunter right behind. Speed Hunter's slowly dragging himself in. Gets knocked wide. Gear is just having some serious lag issues right now. I think that probably gear should, should get kicked. His, his lag is really bad. He's trying to run on board with some guys, and this is not a, not a pleasant experience. Uh, connections. Here's his connection. Is, is so speed on the dive bombs side by side for the lead.
water here. Well done. He's still got a half second penalty on Speed Hunter to burn off. Five bombs going defensive for him. Speed Hunter scuttling inside and outside and back. Takes the lead. Dive bombs with the speed increasing pipers activated. All over the map. Speed Hunter's going to super defensive going into Fair Bomb. Fair Grande up. Dives past him. That BMW that Speed Hunter's in is a, such a hard car to get up in gas. I don't know. All it wants to do is stop around on So the dive box is super stable, very capable of Mercedes Benz. Hunter's still got a .2 second penalty to burn off. He'd be sitting way, way back at. Seconds behind the two here. Yeah, I think this lead battle was allowing the hippie Mike Invertman to close this gap. Yeah, Gears is still having his connection issues. Yes. Ash. Ash Potato's back here. He's fighting like a couple, a couple of offs. Very not the characteristic position for the mashed potato. Dive bombs in the lead. Speed Hunter's in a perfect drafting position. Nice slow stream. Slowly, slowly. Up. So, fuel is going to be a huge factor in this race. Oh, I, don't, I think oh, yeah. everyone might have to pit at some point. Yeah, yeah, the question is, do you go in for me? You'd be foolish to not get tires. You're going to have to get gas. Uh, that's the thing, isn't it? The, the, do you lose more time um, fuel saving than you do filling the car up with a lot of fuel halfway through the race than the time it takes to put a lap or two in at the end? I mean, I'm looking at... I'm looking at uh, Dive bombs, he's got less than a gas for halfway. So he's gonna put he's gonna have to put his gas. Uh, I would suspect the best time to go in is right now. Go in now, put in put in fresh tires, put in less gas. Speed hunter and I, I believe the BMW is a little better on gas. He's at that he's at a tank of gas right now. Well, a minute he Tire can hurt, use so. dive bombs fuel. So, yeah, I think Speed Hunter's been using the draft a lot. Let's see, Travis coming in. Dive bombs is coming in. No, nope. nope. dummy. <laughs> Fake me too. Mikey, Hippie, and Burtman are all diving in. No, oh, gosh, look at her fuel. Uh, five, two, nine. Yeah, no, yes. They've been battling too. They've been battling a lot more than the two in front. Dive bombs is maybe playing the playing the long game. Put, put speed hunter on the lead. Let him burn more gas. Girish stayed out as well. So dive bombs comes back at speed hunter. I think speed yeah, hunter let him through. He had a lot of uh, torque related. Issues coming out of the chicane there. What that does is puts dive bombs in the front again. So That's it. More fuel. Dive bombs surely is going to be hitting this lap. I, I'm surprised he didn't come in in the last lap. Now he's going to have to put in more fuel. Well, it's not. 
not necessarily as like the actual fuel he's got to put in will be less. Well, yeah, his car is lighter. His car will be But I look at him. He's got to come in. <laughs> he's got no choice. Quite a big opportunity to hippie. Hippie can make it through parabolic uh, and come. Might have a chance to lead. So speed hunters out. Speed hunters out. Okay. He'd saved a little bit of fuel, so. Yeah. Oh, speed hunter didn't change his tires either. Oh wow. Uh, so to save a few seconds, so this will be interesting because he, once again, well, we've seen that he's uh, confident on the worn tyres, but yeah, he's confident his car might not be. Hopefully, he can uh, adapt to the. Sometimes you've got to be brave, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. I know with this this track, also like so many other tracks. One or two pixels that aren't in your favor in your race is over. And compound that with the fact that you're But um, Speed Hunter is a proper, accomplished driver. Dive Bob sees to grapple with the idea. Surrender to just put in your consistent times. Don't let the race come back to you. You have the advantages. You can use a little more gas chasing him. You have more tires. Most of the, the team of GRT that their races are settled. I mean, you've got everybody but Nash. Nash has a lot to fight for. And so does Dive Bombs. Dive Bombs is going to fight for the win. Nash Potato is going to try to fight to get back into the back end of Burton. 
whether it's that team you want to be one, the only people you want to be more than the other team is your teammate, but <laughs> only in a team race do you give that up. It's just not for me No contracts on the line. Again. Coming up to the end of lap 10. Two laps left. Dive bombs to take out over a second and a half. The next two laps. Never took a good chance to take the He can see. Carried in front of him, you can see Speed Hunter's right there. He knows he's fast, but he's putting in, putting in the laps. Just, just, the guy bombs can't make the, the big mistakes, he can't get any extra penalties. You know? you gotta make sure he doesn't have a brain aneurysm and forget where his brake marker is. That lead away, the more pressure he puts on the speed. Board right now, I am. I'm on board with dive bombs. Got the back straight towards Ascari. is starting to get his tires to where he's realizing they're not very big, but Speed Hunter's tires are so long, so he's getting the pressure on, but he's also got to be able to burn that half second to get it off. Not just to let him by. There's absolutely no way. No, these tires are burnt, aren't they? Dive, dive bombs has got to get past, but he's got to get past. And also, now he's got just, just, just got rid of his penalty. Speed drive up is wide, but he's going to dive. just drift just a little bit of extra distance there. He's going to come to the inside line. Yeah, dive bombs just got to make him overdrive this because he don't have the tires. He don't have the tires. Get oh, he does. Oh, does he? Yes, no dive bombs has sold him dummy though. That was always going to be a thing in yeah. a part of that move because he needed to go for the switch back. It was so. I, I, oh, great yeah, racing, though. Full yeah, entertainment. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, <laughs> really well done on Speed Hunter's part. Really, really well done. I think I think the the fact that he had to overdrive his tires there on Parabolica. I don't think I don't I don't see any problem, and I don't want to be a homer. I don't see any problem with what dive bombs did. Uh, I think there's a lot of stewards inquiries that could probably be thrown out on this entire 
three races so far. But, uh, you know, Speed Hunter gets second place, which he pretty much had in the bag. I think he got a similar kind of idea that you were going to get second place unless you did something. So, uh, well done to both racers. Dive bombs, way, way too, too really put it down in two laps and get yourself a win. So, you know, great on a lot of those guys. Yeah, that was a amazing tactic to go out on the worn tires. Uh, the the bollard I think was a, a big part. I'm not sure how the bollard. I didn't see how the bollard ended up on the track. I'm sure that that was probably the main turning point. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know that uh, um, that BMW, when you try to get on the power, it does some crazy things, and uh, the bollard was on the inside of the exit of the chicane. So somehow he got a little more inside than he probably needed to be. Um, so I just jumped on to his perspective when he came on the on the exit of that. So really, uh, probably have to go back and see how it got into the track. But it's it's there for everybody. It didn't just happen there, you know. So so. Does Dive Bomb's name should be changed to Mr. Last Minute? <laughs> I don't know that. The Dive Bomb is kind of like a last second thing, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, great racing. There's good racing by everyone. Yeah, Dive Top Bombs events, is a. Very competitive lobbies, even when it's the friendly atmosphere. It's so competitive, everyone wants to win, don't they? Do their bit for the team. I think uh, Mash might have been a little bit. Isolated. Yeah. yeah. I think there's could probably definitely be some raw feelings on some of these uh, some of these incidences, and I definitely think that Mash probably feels like he got the short end of a bunch of the sticks, and I would hate to. Uh, I you know, I don't. And there he is. There's our, our dive bombs joining in. How are we, boys? Hello, mate. Yeah, but uh, I think Mash, Ma you know, Mash, Mash Potatoes got Mash Potato got the short end of some of these, some of these uh, incidences, and, and you know, it's racing. Someone's got to have a bad time, aren't they? Yeah, someone's yeah. going to have a good time. Someone's going to have Travis, a bad time. Travis, excellent, excellent uh, effort there, my man. Way to pull out a a win. I think uh, I, I don't see any issue. And I don't mean to, to look at that with uh, rose colored glasses or jade. Uh, I think you had the move going into Parabolica. You, you just had to let uh, Speed Hunter overdrive his tires going in there. Uh, so I think you, you had that move clean, clean and uh, clean and right. Uh, well, he, all he was doing was blocking, and I done, done a little route, but you know what the connection's like. Yeah, I think there's there, there definitely is uh, an issue with the connections on some of our uh, some of the guys racing today. But That's always that, an issue, isn't it? Yeah, I, I I don't see anything wrong with, with you getting that win. You're gonna get that win either way. Uh, but uh, no, if, if you much, saw him I... lag into you, if you, if you saw him lag into you, I saw him uh, turn in and try to block you off. Uh, yeah. He overdrove his he overdrove his tires, and I had a good I. That's what I saw, and then, of course, I am a member of GRT, so uh, I tried to call it fair, and I, I saw what you did as, as about as fair as it could get, because you had that win either way. You had the pace, you had the tires, um, uh, so, well, but what wasn't going to work in my favor was the fuel. So <laughs> yeah. Really yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I just want to we uh, that. say good job to everyone from MFT Esports and everyone from GRT you've put on a really good show I hope that to see you guys all racing together together again soon on track yeah, it's uh, definitely interesting it's definitely uh, I definitely think that it'll uh, be a good watch again if we get the chance to do it 
So please, by all means, get yourself into some of our lobbies. But yeah, thanks for putting this all together. Yeah. And I guess, uh... I guess we're, we're still live, so maybe we yeah, we're still here. Our Hopefully our drivers come in. Um, again, I think uh, there was a lot of there was a lot to be said about a lot of the the, the, the racing. Um, a little bit more contact uh, than some people would probably agree with. Uh, yeah, it's racing, isn't it? It's, Monsters it's, it's always racing. tight. I mean, it's all Monsters. Uh, always going to be a tough track do you know what I mean You, yeah. there's places where you can put moves in the track narrows, it's going to be hard when you're going into it side by side the Gran Turismo physics don't add to it because where you should normally sort of trade paint and maybe the cars would rest on each other a bit, do you know what I mean they get bounced like a ping pong yeah. ball, which is a bit right. unrealistic it's not the greatest right. thing but yeah, I mean, the do ping pong physics and Gran Turismo are not its strong point, really. Uh, that That's probably one of the weakest points between uh, your your lobbies and any of your any of the other things you do outside of the road. Uh, the physics in this game are not at all uh, realistic at all. So uh, a slight a slight tap into a fast turn puts the outside person into who knows where. Uh, so it's, you, know, you shouldn't have that kind of dramatic impact. Uh, I think that the, the, this series is really well done. I think the, the, the multipliers, fuel, and tire were just right to where, yeah, you, you, do you stop for tires and fuel? Do you stop for just fuel? Uh, really, really well thought out. Um, each race was okay. Are you going to go for the no stop? Are you going to go for the, the one stop for just tires or fuel? It's really well done. I think um, a lot of hedging your bets against one or the other. Uh, I think with uh, the guys here with GRT was we're going to go out with fresh tires and try to put down the laps and maybe grab a little bit of gas so we can rev, rev that motor out. Uh, the Mauritian team went with the first race with, I almost think everybody went with the nose stop, and it did not work out in their favor. Uh, the second race, uh, pretty, pretty similar to not really worry about going into the pits and what that does is it creates a problem with the guys that have all the advantages of using all the power that a car has and all the grip the car has, but they've got a moving chicane in front of them and they can't get past. So uh, I think well done on both teams for their strategies. I think the applications of the strategies, I think, wouldn't go to one team more than the other. Uh, but... Uh, you know, it's, it's, you know it's, the race is what you make it, and they made it differently. So. Yeah. How did you see it, Travis? How did you see how it went? What's your? Uh... I didn't. I didn't see much, to be honest. Spent too you much time on the by myself. Yeah, you did a great <laughs> job in race one. Uh, you, I didn't see much a... behind. Yeah. Uh, the the race race three, you you definitely had purpose in race three uh so uh, race two was a little a little different <laughs> so race race two is built for um a wheel mate not yeah. a controller <laughs> right yeah 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 the, the, any of these i mean with with any of the the they're, they're not really they are sprint races but you know, the tire tire wear and fuel Tire wear is more something you got to consider. I think you, you put yourself at a, a disadvantage with the controller, but uh, you, you do a pretty damn good job of it. You and mashed potato, you do really well. I mean, you pull yeah. Shit fast. So. Just gonna go and look Definitely. at that last corner. Go for it, Matt. Go for yeah. it. That tank was dead empty.
Would I do anything else? I don't see the point of going to bed now. <laughs> <laughs> That's five, five, ten to five in the morning. Come uh, on. <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys think of my launch at the beginning? No, yeah, it was an impressive start. You made some good places, didn't you? What, on the first race? What, 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 what bogged the two leaders down in front of me were the turboed cars. Um, honestly, I would tell you that <sighs> it's hard. It's hard to to pinpoint a lot of that stuff. I'm trying to look at it with a broad, broad lens to see what was going on. Yeah. You know, it's not back at it. I don't know. The first race of a lot of contact. in the race, if I was racing, I, I would not be very, very happy, <laughs> because I know that I thought... Well, that's, that's the reason Cordell left. I, I can totally understand why 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 he left. Uh, I, I'm surprised that Moore didn't. There was <laughs> a lot of contact. Uh, so, uh, Honestly, I feel happened. sorry for my fuel tank, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I died... Yeah, 200 meters before the finish line. <laughs> Thought you did. You did um, a, 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 an astonishing job with uh, pulling back uh, the, the the amount of time that he had with two laps left. You you did an amazing job, knowing that you had all the advantages. I was always wondering with uh, when you look at someone who's that far ahead of you. But you know you've got all the you've got all the cards, but all you need to do is put, you know, is put them down. You got to put the cards down, and then you picked up a penalty there, and you know you got to burn that penalty because it gets rounded up at the end. So, but you've still got to do, you've still got to put it all in, got to put the work in, and you did it. You really did. So, I think a lot of you know, pressure. The pressure to do that is, is immense, you know, and I think for Speed Hunter, he had a lot of pressure too, but he's going to make that giant BMW as wide as he can. What, what's your input on that, Kev? No, I thought it was good racing, I think it's... Uh, no, I was just there at the replay, mate. Well contested, yeah, I was just having a look at the replay. I, feel, I knew that that was what your move was going to be. He was on fresher tyres. I knew that he was going to that, try. That and was the red from a, a good four laps back. That yeah, I'll yeah. have him on the last corner. Yeah, see, that's, that's what I'm saying. Uh, I saw the whole thing. I think it was all good. I think. What, what old mate didn't do was look ahead down the track. Yeah. I might be Australian, but need to have sleep, but I still remember to do that. Come on. <laughs> Far out. Well, I think, yeah, what you... I mean, he had to put his car in a position to make you take a line, but I think, I think some of that would have been given if you were on the... If, he, if you were in the same situation that he was in, he he could have inside and out of you too. He could have forced you to go inside and overdrive that corner too. You may what have had to, to the last, remember this. What happened to the last person that tried to do that to me? <laughs> well, um, I'm talking about now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, On a, but just go back to the future, back there somewhere. 
Yeah. Just remember what happened to the last person that tried to do that. Mm. It didn't end out well for him. <laughs> but that was a good race overall. I'm not complaining. Yeah. No, no, no. I think there was so many. There's so much good racing there. I, I don't want it to be forgotten over all the other little things that happened. I think a lot of good battles. I think you know when you got the, when you got a team that occupies five of the top six spots in almost all the races. I think you know that's where it's it be said that. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how much the other team practices a group. Uh, they, well, they I'm really saying I never practiced. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's like, I, I don't think that, you know, everybody here in, in GRT practices a team at all. Whether they did or not, I don't know. Um, it looked like they had everything going in the beginning. It looked like they were working as a team at, at uh, in Lagos. Um, but, you know, <laughs> and, and in the beginning, it was it was really spaced out. It was I think there was parity there. Like it was you only had a second and a half from the first to the last person. It was, it was really nicely, you know, put together. So, mm. you know, looking at individual individual races, um, the only you know you get to be at the first and second in every race was neck and neck between. You and Speed Hunter and Mash Speed Hunter. Yeah. You know, so you think at the at the the back battles are hard to watch because you know the pointy end is where all the attention goes. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, what the second race I had to um just take a step back and let someone else do it because I was not the quickest. <clears throat> I think I saw. I mean, you you could see that, and I'm trying to make comment of that. It's like well. You know where Mikey Mikey started at the front, but he quickly realized, at least I thought he did, realized that he needed to let you and Mashy past him so you could attack the guy in the lead. Yeah. And Girish Girish did a great job of taking the lead and keeping the lead for almost you know the whole damn time. Yeah. So, so um, but letting letting. Letting through, and that's where the team aspect comes through. It's like, yeah, I'm fast and I like to race, but if the guy's behind me is my teammate who's faster, let it pass. But if someone's behind me who's not my team, I need to slow it down. I yeah, think that's, I think that's where I think that's where we showed. I shouldn't say we because I don't want to say over, but I think that's where we are. Yeah, you know, it wasn't a surprise. They knew that's what. He the Mauritian team did the same thing. They did. They put the fast guys front, and they tried to keep everybody who wasn't their team behind. Them. Very well. I mean, very good race. I think there was a lot of debates could be made about some of the actual driving and racing and incidences, but you know, the, the team aspect came through really clearly. Yeah. Well, anyway, on a close the stream down now. Thank you, chat. Thank you, yes. everyone that watched. It was a good event. Yes. Definitely. Thank everybody who donated, liked the stream, yeah. watched the stream. Uh, I hope we can do many more of these because uh, uh, commenting on them was a lot of fun. It's, 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 it's very interesting and neat to put your thoughts into words so that everybody can. An idea what I'm yeah. Well, we'll see you all soon.